The Vismo series are 10.4 inch patient monitors with several configurations for wide range of patients. There are two models, each available with SpO2 technology from either Neoncodon, Nelcor, or Massimo. PVM4761 can monitor basic parameters like ECG, respiration, and IBP, SpO2, and temperature. For each parameter, we can monitor, store data, and set alarms when the patient condition changes. PBM4763 can monitor basic parameters like ECG, respiration, and IBP, SpO2, temperature, and additionally IBP as well as CO2. For each parameter, we can monitor, store data, and set alarms when the patient condition changes. They can also be connected to central monitors and monitor patient data remotely. This is PBM4763 and this is PBM4761. On the front panel, you can find the power switch, the touch screen, and the alarm indicator. The only external difference between the two models is the left side panel. PBM4763 has two press CO2 sockets on the left side panel. All the other sockets for ECG, SpO2, and IPP and temperature are the same. On the back side, you will find the handle, the battery pack holder, AC source socket, and equipotential terminal. On the right side panel, we have the check key, the network socket, set S socket, and the standard USB socket. When the optional QI470P interface is installed, you can find the alarm output socket, the serial communication socket, the RGB output socket, and the ECG BP out socket. Also, the optional WS470P recorder unit can be installed here. Press the power button to turn the power on. To turn the monitor power off, press and hold the power button for more than 2 seconds. In the menu window, you can select between the simple or normal view. Touch menu and touch Admit Discharge to go to the Admit screen. Enter the patient information by touching items and entering by using the keyboard. After input the data, touch End to confirm the input. Touch Admit and touch New Patient. To access the Admit screen, you can also touch Patient Name area at the upper left. Touch Menu Home to go back to the main screen. The bedside monitor has now started monitoring the patient. When we discharge a patient, touch Menu and Admit Discharge to go to the Admit screen. Touch Discharge and New Patient. When we discharge the patient, all patient data will be erased. Touch menu to open the menu screen. Here you can find several functions, for example, review vital signs data or check the alarm settings. To go back to the main screen, touch the home key or the waveform display area. You can also touch numeric data to go to the parameter setting directly. You can configure the function keys at the top to go to frequent screens directly. To change the ECG settings, touch Menu and ECG. Or touch the heart rate value. You will now see the alarm limit setting. It is possible to adjust the upper lower alarm limit by touching each parameter. You can also find sensitivity and lead setting. Touch each selection to change them. When you start monitoring, the bedside monitor will learn normal ECG as reference for arrhythmia detection. If arrhythmia detection is inaccurate due to a change of the ECG baseline, you can perform learning current ECG waveform by touching Learn. You can see and change other settings in the Other tab. It is the same procedure to change the settings of SpO2. 
touch menu and SPO2 or touch the SPO2 value to adjust upper lower alarm limit by touching each parameter. You can also change the other setting from the other tab. For NIBP, touch NIBP value to adjust upper or lower alarm limit. To start manual NIBP measurement, just touch Start Stop. To start auto measurement, touch NIBP interval until measurement interval window is open. Here you can select measurement interval. Then touch start stop on the home screen. For IBP invasive blood pressure, touch press to change alarm limit by touching each parameter for each IBP level. For zero calibration, expose the blood pressure line to the air and touch zero cal for each IBP level. You can also perform zero calibration for all lines at the same time. Expose all the lines to the air and touch zero all. You can change scales, labels and the other setting from press 1, press 2 and the other tab. For temperature, touch temp value to adjust the alarm limit by touching each parameter, label and the other settings. Touch the CO2 value to adjust the alarm limit by selecting each parameter. In case of using P910A CO2 sensor, to start the CO2 monitoring, expose the airway adapter to the air and perform the zero calibration by touching air cal. For P907 CO2 sensor, zero calibration is not necessary. You can also select each parameter setting on each tab in the REST CO2 window. In case of alarms, Vismo will show a message with an alarm level color, blue, orange and red, a specific sound for the alarm level and highlighted numeric data. We can silence the alarm by touching silence alarm. The monitor has a guide menu. To access it, touch the guide key on the home screen. You can also find the guide key on the menu window. Vismo can store numeric data and up to 5 waveforms for 120 hours. You can review data on the trend table, trend graph, full disclosure, NIBP table, recall, alarm history and OCRG. OCRG, oxycardiorespirography, is available only in case of neonates. You can also record or print data by touching Record or Print keys on the review window and Rec Stop key on the home screen. To review data from each review screen, touch Menu and select the review screen you would like to see. You can also switch to other review screens by touching the desired tab. All the review screens show the same time data. To review the waveform data at any specific time on the trend graph, just switch from the trend graph screen to the full disclosure screen. At the trend graph, you can set up to three parameters from the setup key. You can also change the scale setting for each parameter from the scale key. To change the time period and the display time, touch the plus or minus icons to change the display time width. Up to two trend patterns can be configured based on your own needs. Graph 1 and Graph 2 have their own settings of the displayed parameters and scales. To change parameters at the trend table, 
touch the setup key. Up to 15 selected monitoring parameters can be displayed. You can also change the interval time by touching the interval key and select the time. To see the trend table when NIBP is measured, touch the NIBP table tab. At the full disclosure window, you can change parameters from the setup key. Touch the setup key and select up to four parameters. You can select the display time per trace among 5, 10, 30 or 60 seconds per trace by touching the plus or minus icons. When you tap on the blue frame, the view zooms in on a specific time frame. At the recall window, you can see the Arrhythmia event list with the ECG waveform. You can see or review more detailed information of the event by tapping on the waveform. At the alarm history, you can see which alarms occurred in the past. When multiple bedside monitors are connected to a network, you can see the other patient data from a bedside monitor by using the interbed function. You can see monitoring data and other alarms as well. You can see up to 8 other patient data at a screen. When you would like to see more detailed data like waveforms, touch the patient bed display area and an individual screen will be shown. When touching the numeric data of the parameter, you will see its waveform under the ECG waveform. Go back to the interbed screen and touch X.